I think this morning Chris Heaton Harris was trying to distance himself from the catastrophe that is Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock is now on record saying that he wanted to frighten people with the Kent variant of COVID. Um, Chris Heaton Harris says that this is a view into the psyche of Matt Hancock rather than a view into the way the government itself was working. But, I, you know, we get a view of Simon Case, the cabinet um, secretary. We get um, a view of uh, <laughs> so many other so many other individuals connected with the uh, dissemination of information. And uh, Simon Case talking about uh, the fear guilt factor, the head of civil, the head of the civil service, and um, Matt Hancock ramping this up as much as he possibly can. Uh, we, uh, rather than doing too much forward signalling, we can roll pitch with the new strain. We frighten the pants off everyone with the new strain. Yes, that's what will get the proper behaviour change. When do we deploy the new variant? It's like some sort of Doctor Who villain, isn't it? And then he makes the announcement the following day. This, this is not a, a positive picture of anyone. And I, and I would say there isn't very much context in which one can place these um, WhatsApp messages that makes them any better. So I don't see how uh, Matt Hancock can rail against Isabel Oakshot and say, oh, 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 oh they're, they're biased, they're biased. Well, they're not biased. They show the inner workings of a malign and uh, unattractive individual. Now, if that is Matt Hancock, well, then the cap fits. If it's not Matt Hancock, so sorry. But the image that comes across is of malignity and of arrogance and self-serving um, ministerial office. A, a ministerial office where he thought that he was going to ascend the heights. I, I'm, I'm going to be really famous now. Yeah, you are, Matt. You are. And there's a word for it. It's called notoriety.